as this fight opens, you want to make sure that you're stacking up with your raid, uh, getting close to Bulo as soon as you can. Uh, going through the initial rotation isn't a big deal, but very soon, as you can see here, we're all going to stack up. And this is going to make sure that the next mechanic, the big purple circle, is going to go on the tank as he heads up the stairs. Now, as soon as we uh, get confirmation that the tank does indeed have the big circle, we can go ahead and move out, move away from the raid. As you can see there, the tank's gone up, he's got the circle, he's taken out those adds. And from here, as a ranged DPS, here I'm playing a sniper, you basically want to keep your movement as uh, little as possible. You want to make sure that you're keeping your rotation up at maximum, and getting as much as your hard-hitting abilities in as you can. And as we move on to the next phase, you'll be seeing uh, mass barrage here real soon. And oh, there you can see the purple circle, that'd be volley, that hits very hard. You want to make sure that you're keeping that away from the raid, making sure you don't get hit with that. I think two ticks and you're dead. So here's mass barrage, you can see these uh, blue circles appearing. You basically want to let two fall at your feet and then move after uh, another two fall, move back into position. And so we're not really moving a whole lot, we're not running around, we're just doing our rotation. Here I've pulled threat, so I'm not going to panic, I'm going to pop some defensive cooldowns, try not to move, try not to cleave the raid, and essentially just do as much damage as I can. As a sniper with hunker down, you can practically mitigate almost all the damage from that ability anyway, so there's no sense in moving and potentially hurting your raid members. And Bulo will continue to jump around the room. Just trying to get a good position, make sure that I'm not going to be getting cleaved, not making sure I'm not standing near other players, not taking any uh, AoE damage, uh, causing any trouble that way. Now in terms of the adds that spawn periodically during this fight, I'm pretty much just ignoring them. Um, they have so much health that they can't really be killed conventionally, so you're going to be leaving it up to the tank or the designated DPS to pick up a barrel and uh, kite those adds through the, the circle. But outside of that, your job's real simple. You're just tunneling the boss, making sure you're not standing in stupid, making sure that you're keeping your rotation up as, as uh, close to maximum as you can. You can get very uh, very close to your dummy parses in this fight. It's basically a, like a dummy fight. And um, beyond that, you're simply just going to be rinse repeating, making sure that you're uh, going through the rotation. As you can see, most of the raid here is spread out pretty well. And not taking excessive damage and that's pretty much exactly what you want to be doing utilizing the battlefield utilizing the space that's given to you so that you're not, not inadvertently hurting other players the other ability that can just come without warning is uh, his barrel toss and so barrel toss it doesn't hit as hard as it used to but it can still do a fair bit of damage if it hits multiple players so let's keep that in mind and that's pretty much the fight